The Resident Evil 4 remake is almost upon us, and I've got to say, from the marketing and trailers surrounding the game, I'm absolutely terrified. Not of the game, although I'm sure the remake will be as stress-inducing as the original, forcing you to work with limited resources against near-endless hordes of infected, but the remake looks a little too scary, wouldn't you agree? Like, the game has lost that ludicrous action that blends so well with the horror, and stops the atmosphere from becoming overwhelming. The remake looks oppressive, like the marketing has only been focused on the horror aspect of RE4, when it's just as much a silly game about actions and jokes. I suppose the actual test will be how jarring it is when Leon dives out of a window for no reason, but this stifling horror atmosphere may be what opens Resident Evil 4 up to the changes Capcom has teased. Specifically, a connection to Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil Village. Now, there are a number of reasons I think changes to Resident Evil are likely. Now, I'm not expecting the narrative to change in any meaningful way, other than maybe updating a few lines for modern sensibilities. The chief reason I expect the changes to tie into other Resident Evil games is quite simple. Capcom loves overcomplicating this franchise. In fact, that's what Resident Evil 4 was meant to be, a clean slate that removed all the conspiratorial baggage all the other Resident Evil titles had piled on top of the franchise. And since Capcom often repeats their mistakes with this franchise, that led to the second wiping of the slate in Resident Evil 7. So it's only logical that they would start to overcomplicate the franchise again which is what they've arguably been doing with the DLCs that take place in the dream world. But what specific connections do I think Resident Evil 4 Remake will make to Village? Well, that's easy. The presence of Mother Miranda. While it seems unlikely that Mother Miranda would ever fraternize with other villains in the Resident Evil series due to her singular focus on resurrecting her daughter, that couldn't be further from the truth. As stated on the Resident Evil wiki, not only was she a mentor to Oswald Spencer, as well as overseeing the creation of Evelyn, over the decades she was alive, Miranda collaborated with many individuals and organizations. While their goals never precisely aligned, she still assisted and engineered other events in the series to learn more about the mold so she could resurrect her daughter. And the most likely person she could collaborate with is Sadler. The most apparent reason is due to their status as cult leaders. Both characters have taken over a village with their respective viruses that they discovered, and positioned themselves as a deity in the sectarian communities they developed. What's to say Miranda didn't spend time with Sadler so she could learn how to control her lichens properly? As while Sadler had total control of the villagers, Miranda hid the lichens in the fort, due to their inability to follow orders. The more likely scenario is that Sadler sought out Miranda, as an alliance between the two would benefit each other. Miranda has decades of experience leading a cult and experimenting with an ancient virus, while Sadler has access to modern technology as well as the Lost Plagas, which could be another route to Miranda resurrecting her daughter. Despite Sadler's young age compared to Miranda, he certainly seems more knowledgeable about how viruses work, and how to bend the infected to his will, something with which Miranda clearly failed. There's a more significant reason that I feel there's some kind of connection between 4 and Village, and for that, we have to go back to the pre-release speculation of Resident Evil Village. There were originally theories that the Village would somehow tie back into Resident Evil 4, fueled primarily by the apparent pattern of returning to a village every fourth entry, as well as the fact that, once again, it's set, quote, somewhere in Eastern Europe. Now, I'm not saying the Resident Evil 8 village is the same as the Resident Evil 4 village, but there are some connections between the two that point to them being nearby. The most obvious parallels are the locations each game features. A mountainous village, a castle run by a historic lord in said village, an industrial area where the armies of each villain are created, and merchants that mysteriously seem to know each other. Honestly, now that I've played the original Resident Evil 4, I'm shocked there isn't a direct reference or plot reveal in Village. 
The connections between the two towns don't end there. For example, I'd like to pose a theory that Del Lago is somehow a precursor to Moreau. Perhaps Miranda retrieved a portion of his flesh from the sunken carcass, and combining it with her cacao virus, created her third lord. Although there may be a timeline issue of which I'm not aware, but it's all well and good to theorise about this within the world of the games. But we have to look to reality for some more concrete evidence, and in that regard I present the development timeline of the Resident Evil franchise. Since 2014, the Resident Evil team has always known what their next game would be, which is how the release schedule has been almost annual since 2019. So it stands to reason that they've had both Resident Evil Village and Resident Evil 4 Remake planned since 2017 at the latest. So my theory is this, Resident Evil 4 Remake will reveal something that changes how we look at not only Mother Miranda, but Resident Evil Village as a whole. But this doesn't offer us much, with Miranda and Ethan both conclusively dead. And while this could simply be a fun wink to the people who played Resident Evil Village, as well as marketing to get more people to play the game, I propose that whatever the connection between Sadler and Miranda is, will connect to the motivation for either the mysterious villain, or the protagonist of Resident Evil 9, and that protagonist will be Rose Winters. Of course, like with any theory video, this is most likely totally wrong, but I think there's enough evidence here to support the fact that Miranda and Sadler have some kind of connection, but I suppose we'll find out soon.